Let's get more now on the outbreak of the coronavirus. Since news of the spread of infections has increased, so have reports of countries closing their borders to travellers who have recently been in China. There have also been worrying reports in social media of racism against Chinese people. This is just one example, a Chinese doctor reporting in Australia about a patient saying he wouldn't shake her hand. Well, we can now talk to this doctor a little bit more now. The social media storm uh, is obviously following the outbreak. And let's talk to Dr. Ria Liang in Brisbane, whose tweet we have just seen there. Dr. Liang, thanks for joining us. First of all, just tell me exactly what happened with this patient who came to visit you in hospital. Um, it was a very busy clinic. Um, it's a teaching clinic, so my team was around me and I am the consultant. Um, he had shaken other hands of other members of the team before he came to me and he withdrew his hand um, and made a joke about how he shouldn't shake my hand because of coronavirus. Um, we carried on with the consultation. My primary concern was to deliver very good medical care to him, um, but as soon as he had gone, my team were very supportive um, and we had a little debrief about what had occurred. And of course, you, you've not even been to China, have you, recently? So there's absolutely no reason for him to say this other than the, of your, your ethnicity. That's it. I'm a New Zealander. Um, I live and work in Australia. Um, I've been to China twice in my life as a tourist, um, but not for over a decade. How worried are you about what is becoming clear is a problem on social media about misinformation, which is leading to, you know, racism, quite frankly, against people of Chinese origin? Mm. It worries me a great deal. Um, I'm more concerned about people more vulnerable than me. My example is quite mild compared to some of the examples on social media. You know, there's kids being chased across playgrounds. Um, there are people being ejected from elevators. Um, so really, someone choosing not to shake my hand is quite mild. But also I worry because I, I am the consultant, I have quite a lot of authority. Um, it worries me how people who don't have that sort of authority are being treated. You know, what are the nurses experiencing? What's the average Chinese person in any other job experiencing? Um, and certainly on social media, we are seeing increasing reports of um, those day to day encounters. And of course, the misinformation many people are talking about on social media about how this disease spreads about how it can spread so quickly. I mean, that is adding to adding flames to the fire, isn't it? Adding fuel to the fire, excuse me. It is. Um, there's a great deal of misinformation, um, but the racial characterization of it is incorrect. Um, you know, to a virus, all the humans on this earth look the same. They look like a potential host. And so although the virus originated in China, um, you know, we have had our first cases confirmed in Australia, but everyone is susceptible to catching the virus, not just Chinese people. And so if we're going to have public health precautions, it should be for everyone, um, not just Chinese people. And also, uh, on a different note, coronavirus has been diagnosed at the facility where you work, has it not? How worried are it you is. about the coronavirus and its obvious spread now to Australia? We are all extremely worried. Um, I think the medical personnel are, you know, worried universally. The characteristics of this virus um, are quite worrisome, particularly the latent period um, when it may not be symptomatic but, but can still spread. Um, there's a lot of parameters about this virus that are not still, still not entirely clear. Um, until we know more about it, I think it is wise for us all to be um, more cautious, not less. And of course, you see many people on the news and around wearing these face masks. And yet there are only <laughs> few specific types of masks that actually work. And am I correct in believing that you should only wear a mask for an hour at a time? Because if it gets damp, then it becomes useless. Correct. Um, the droplet spread is essential to control. Um, and anyone who's worn a mask will know that they do get saturated with your breath vapour quite quickly and, and become ineffective at controlling the droplets. Okay, Dr. Liang, it's so good to talk to you. Thank you very much for taking the time. It's my pleasure.